Hello everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Supreme Ruler 2020 as Vietnam. As we continue our ju just somewhat after the end of the war against India in this rather interesting uh, map, uh, look of the map, division between us, India, and Bangladesh actually. As they only got a small amount of territory here, and just a slight frame rate problem. But we did manage to get the naval base of Kolkata, at least. And, of course, our supply lines are being distributed rather slowly. However, I'm going to just build up some uh, military supply depots as best I can. If I can find areas that might be able to accept. Because I'll choose that city up here. Uh, I suppose Hyperabad will do. And one more. Indoor. And I guess that's it, or I could build another one. Nakpur, and... When it comes to one more... Some are being built rather slowly. But... I guess this city will do, and that's kind of about it. Now, of course, I will have to get my Air Force to get back on the Chinese mainland and reserve them. Build a lot of my aircraft, keep reassigning them wherever I can. Uh, I suppose he. No. Let's try. Jian, I guess. And now for these. Probably all the way up to what was Manchuria, I guess. Particularly in Shenyang. So that'll do. Oh, and I must remember got to uh, build up a new road here. As we are now connect fully connected with mainland China. Of the Chinese mainland, I mean. So I'll do something like that. All these timber mills, I'm gonna ignore. Also, inflation's as it is. Inflation control is just fine. GDP and population eh, is uh, dropped a little bit, but that's fine. Now, because of our increase in size of territory. A lot of stuff we gotta build up, including the amount of farmland that farming that can be done in the uh, Indian lands. Most I will fill up, others I'm just gonna ignore. Depending. So I'll fill these out, and anywhere else. Well, there's that, including the industrial complex. Here, I'm gonna ignore. Water, what's the demand? Alright, it's... pretty high. Timber is also pretty high. Demand is a little bit over, so... We got 36 more mills being built, but... In order to keep up the demand, I can't build any there yet. It's annoying. Build right over here. Here. Now... Nah, these are not good patches. Not even up in the northern part of India. Former India. Oh. Up in the mountains, I guess. That would do. Not, com not fully fill out, but it's close enough. That should be it. Fuel. 240 biofuel facilities, 227 oil fields, gas fields, whatever you say. And only 18 uh, oil derricks. Considering there's a good amount of oil here, but I obviously don't have any clue how to acquire these in order to just start drilling. And I thought I saw, yep, there's one over here, so fill that out, just one. And these I could start putting in more 
oil derricks eventually, but only until after the supply lines are spread out. So that's a so that's in the long run. The majority of what, what's left the uh, Indian Air Force probably need to be reassigned anywhere. Elsewhere, I mean. So one group is in that direction. These over in this city. And that should be it. Production. Well, I'm going to take a look and see if there are any production facilities that are disabled. Yep, please. Activate those. Reactivate, I mean. Naval. Nope. Missiles. None. Although, we've got to start building a lot more missiles, unfortunately. In that groups of 10 at least. Next up is naval. I'm not gonna go in any certain, I was just randomly clicking as quick as I can of uh, extra missiles we need. I somewhat didn't click on that. And that's about it. Ship production is fine as it is. Aircraft pr uh, production. Well, currently the ones that were reactivated are building a transport of F-16 and a Hind. That's fine. So that's kind of about it. Land, on your hand. Well... And that's my phone going off for some reason. <laughs> I'll probably look that up later. Now, of course, one annoyance is the amount of uh, infantry garrisons, and there's still a lot of aircraft here. So, I'm going to redeploy into a poor next. And while we're waiting, might as well check the rest of the world before I build up more facilities of the other uh, resources. In Europe, war the war between Milan and South Germany is still going. Still going. Ever since 2020. Seven, almost seven years, I think. I think. I don't know. Africa, Burkina Faso is still standing. The war against Brazil is not changing much. No comment about Mexico's struggle against Texas, Arizona, and California. Let alone any so-called conflicts going on in North America. Nothing I can say about that. And oh yeah, I must forget about Cambodia. They do have a Cossus belly, but that's probably only after I reserve everybody. I'm guessing. And of course, Hong Kong has managed to have a pretty decent sized navy. A lot of transports, a lot of frigates and destroyers, and the first carrier. Although, how's their economy? Da 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 da. Wait. Okay, sure, you have causes belly, but that's understandable. What could you need? Petrol, coal, metal ore, uranium. Everything's fine, and what? Fine. Tibet. You're okay, and especially if they're unusual gravel territory up here. Japanese forces are still over here for some reason. Korea. Has a rather massive military. Don't know about that. And of course, we're still trying to research as much as we can, but technology level is disappointingly tiny in terms of spending. Hmm, increases focus of research spending toward tech level. But concerns are moves away from efficiency and specific project development, huh? Well, we need better tech, a better tech level eventually. So I'm gonna focus on that for now. And the supply lines are finally catching up, not fully. So with that, let's see coal. Okay, coal's fine. Metal ore, we're we are somewhat fine in that regard. 
Uranium, however. Gotta fill these out. Including these patches, at least, and that should be it. Power demand. Need I say more about the power demand problem? And we're already wasting too much money. Got some consumer good facilities that are... There's only two being built, industrial three, military, only one. But I am going to spread them out into major cities, though. In this area, and move up north a little bit. Pretty sure there are certain cities that don't have anything. Over right here, consumer goods. Consumer goods. And I'll give them, I guess. That's pretty much filled out anyway, because I'm building a supply depot. Build one here. Build there, but I will have to build up a lot of industrial uh, production somewhere. Uh, primarily down here, I guess, and I'll fill that out. All the way down to the southern part of Indi former India. One here, build that. Now build a consumer goods just in case. Seems like mo see, it does seem like most of these cities just not be able to produce their own goods. It seems, but that's something I've got to do. Just keep building up a lot of stuff, yeah, at least for production-wise. There's that, there's this, this, and this city. Oh, and I forgot about this one. And another city. Okay, I think that's enough. What's our reserve stock for military goods? Two million, and it's still gonna keep producing as much as it can. But we still have a lot of yeah, infantry garrisons. gonna have order these to be scrapped. But I am gonna move this aircraft away so I don't have to accidentally scrap it. Is that far enough? Yes it is. So let's scrap them. Conscripts I don't need, don't need, don't need. Hold on a minute. Blah 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 blah. Technicals, orders, <laughs> deploy all units. Eh. Wait, how much missiles do we even have? Okay, that's quite a lot of missiles that we have in our stock. Navy, and finally the submarines as well. Alright. Oh, right. Some of these ships are damaged and they're being repaired. Along with a few of my sort of a pride of a new Imperial Vietnamese Navy. Anyway, I might as well just select all these. All these garrisons that I don't need, since there's just too many. How many are there? All the way up to... Yikes. This is gonna take a while, and my finger is gonna ache a little bit. Is that it? Nope. Oh god, there's so many. Too many. Actually, where did I just stop? All the way up to one... Uh, here. Sheesh. Give the orders to scrap them all, then select the rest. I don't know if you can hear the mouse, but that's pretty much how quickly I'm trying to click 
to select all these garrisons, but there's just too many. Far too many. Ah, uh, this is gonna take a while. Let's grab them. Keep moving on. And I don't know where... Oh. Not even close to being finished. God. I don't understand why India has so many of these garrisons. Same could be said for Pakistan, I guess. And we're getting close to finishing, and that's about it. Finally. What military facility are it? Air defenses? Okay, that's nice to know. But jeez. It's too many. And unfortunately, I can't just select all of these remaining garrisons one by one. I could just deploy them all again, but that but that might be a little annoying, so... Eh, whatever. Nothing else going on. Most of my navy is being deployed, but I will have to uh, preserve them as well. Uh, nope, not scrap. That would be bad. Okay, reserve and... Oh, some of... So, oh, some of the my newly acquired ships are actually on the other side. We have a few under the Pakistani flag. Alright. I'm still a little surprised that Sri Lanka didn't get anything in the southern part of former India. That would have been interesting to see them having a bit of a uh, gain on the somewhat Asian mainland, but that's not going to happen. All these garrisons are going to be scrapped. You return to base. There's still a lot of garrisons everywhere. A lot of building projects, some of which are repaired due to those conflicts. pretty much about it, and of course the Philippines having an unusual small territory. And speaking of which... Well, their military is impressive, I guess. Including some M4-1As. And all that, eh. Eh, why not? Could always use any sort of trade agreement with any of our allies. Eh, despite some shaky current relations, I guess. I mean, Indonesia is surprisingly okay with war, with war eh, sorry, with what happened to our war. Malaysia, the Philippines, Thailand, yep, Thailand, Laos, and several others are a bit, probably seem to be a bit peeved about our, our aggressive actions against India, but, oh well. Though the only one that I'm a little bit unsure of is Korea. They clearly have the cost of bill. They clearly have all this. If they want to go to war, but because of the game's mechanic, once you're an ally, you're permanently an ally. Unless, personally, you, uh, decide to, you decide to, um, break alliance permanently. Which would be here. Break all ties. But... That's a bit of a risk, as other nations might not be happy with that. So, it would be understandable if the AI for Korea would just do that for us, but that's not going to happen anytime soon. Military alert changes. Bond issue completed. Well, they still have a pretty large debt. Japan still has a massive one. That's not going to change anytime. But let's just take a look at the uh, statistics. Provocation... UK... Yeah, a lot of these nations are unhappy. With the exception of those that are my allies. Including... Cambodia, I guess. Although Costas Belly is a different story. Well, there's Brazil, there's Moscow, and that's about it. Domestic approval, military approval, treasury, we are now once again the richest for the moment. I'm not gonna bother the debt. GDP, 
Northwest, Northwest Territory has the highest. Population-wise, we are the largest population. Tech level, we are not at the most advanced. Those that are war, not gonna borrow that. DAFCON, all the way up to Ohio is DEFCON 1, full-scale war. Unit kills and casualties losses, we are at the top, same with casualties, only close to Marcel at the moment. Land lost, not gonna say about that. Total army staff and our capabilities is the largest. Land, air, naval, and missile production. Territorial areas, areas, we are the fourth largest compared to Brazil, Australia, and even Central Siberia. Alright. Now, what about poles? Not gonna say about those, not even this, not even that. Total score, New Zealand's at the top. Diplomatic, Mongolia. Economic, the UN Protectorate, including Hong Kong, second. Technology, Argen Argentina. Alright, um, approval, Guatemala. Military, however, we are at the top, second only to Pakistan, and right now third to Marcel. Right. So that's pretty interesting, I guess. There's nothing much to do at the moment. I mean, I could prepare for war if I want to. But... It's pretty, I'm kind of satisfied of being an Asian uh, dominant power at the moment. Of course, there's nothing going on in Japan's small territorial... Uh, acquired territory up here. Nothing new. Actually, what resources are... Is there any resources here? Agriculture? Not much. Water? Definitely not. Timber? Only one patch. Oil? Non-existent. Coal? Out of reach. Metal ore? None. No uranium. Definitely electrical power is going to be a one annoyance, and that's about it. I guess that's interesting. There's really nothing to do other than wait for most of the building projects to be done, including this new road to carve through the mountains, at least. Down over here, it's pretty crowded with all these facilities and stuff. But that's pretty much the way it's going to be. As for the Indian mainland, now that I give it another look, it's a... Um... How should I say this? It, it to me it looks a bit barren without much uh, production going on. Oh boy, we need a lot more farms now. I mean, we got a ten being built, but I guess I gotta build a large number, a much larger number. I mean, of farms. Fill this area out. At the same time, I'll build a, not road, but a railway. And I'm still stuck to that for some reason. Did I always keep misclicking? Connect to that to that railway, then connect to here. Build some more facilities. Now, what about near? Well, Agra doesn't have much. Now, up here, where New Delhi is, hardly. So these cities are going to be self-sustaining at the moment. Well, I want to fill that out. That's a city, this town's under repairs. Another city. Another city. And this city. Anywhere else. There's now, well, most of these are former cities, I guess, due to population drop and damage due to the war. So 
Oh, that's gonna take a while for these to be repaired, at least. And I guess that's enough. Now the consumer... And I just built two, but I'm not gonna ignore that. Here, here... Here, here... Where else? That, 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 that... Ah, fill that out. I'm gonna improvise anyway. This city... This city... Oh, forgot about that city somehow. And that's annoying. Finally this... Have that town build a consumer good, I guess. And is this a city? No, it's just a town. It's always the case that... From point of view, it looks... Sometimes it looks like a city, sometimes... But it's really just a town at times, and that kind of does play tricks. And that's also a city, despite its... Strangely small size. That's a town. This is a city as well. Oh well. And these garrisons are still moving out to be scrapped. It's gonna take a while. So, I guess I have no choice but to scrap... Not all of the garrisons here, since there's just too many. Yeah, this is gonna take... Yeah, this is gonna take too long, and I swear I didn't click on anything strange to just jump out like that, but... Oh well. Yeah, there's just too many. I got no choice but to redeploy... Eh, I should've chose the army. Damn it. And I think I may have screwed up. <sighs> right. I think that's kind of about it, so I'll order these to be scrapped. Any other garrisons that are deployed? Nope. Why did I deploy my air force? I don't have a clue. Alright, reserve them. Same with my ships, since I don't want 200 vessels to be out. They always seem to almost mistakenly click on about the mistaken click on scrap. Okay, that's about it, but I still have a lot of garrisons here. And that's kind of about it, since many of them are just gonna re uh uh, reserve again. So sorry, this part is a little boring, but... There's nothing I can do when you have this many garrisons. Sheesh. And partisans as well. Why do I have partisans? The war is over. You don't need to be partisans at the moment. Of course, I do have rangers and airborns, but I still have that peeve of when it comes to infantry type units, because to me they're kind of useless in Supreme Ruler. At least that's how I feel, but... Eh, what can you do? Another aircraft fabrication is eh, finished. A lot of new railways are being built up rather slowly, but... In the end, I might need to build even more. In order to connect the country... A bit more, at least. Of course, it doesn't help when I don't even know if there's any uh, railways that have already been built, particularly alongside the roads. Which can be annoying. Connect to that, then connect up here. We're already bordering with Pakistan. A little too close. It. In this case, I'm just gonna connect to this. Uh, have this one go that way. This one. Head back down what this railroad is, but I'm gonna branch off to here. Connect up here. Connect to that area, and I did not need to do that. Especially when this is already connected to a railway anyway. 
but I'm just gonna do that and that's kind of about it. It's just way too much stuff to do. Way too much. But I'm gonna end eventually, and I'm just gonna stop here just as December 5th is about to begin. But I'm just gonna stop right here. Despite our approval rating dropping, GDP dropped, Treasury's gone down again, all this is down and all, but... It's currently a bit of a peace... sort of a peaceful moment for... our empire, at least. What are out of camp... If it's possible to provoke Cambodia to declare war, I don't know. I might do that next. Well, I might actually I might do a little bit of a small emphasis on small time skit by so that I could manually get rid of all these garrisons that are reserved. So I'll do a little time skit. So it's not going to be December fifth or December fourth anymore. Probably some other time. Maybe even the start of uh, 2028 is probably when I'm gonna. Probably do a better time skip that way. I don't know. But hope you enjoyed this and see you again in the next episode and uh, time skip. So, see you then.